have us, Henry? <laughs> We're sitting here, Dave, talking about what they ought to do. I think they ought to do that. I think they ought to do that. Well, let's see what they do. All right, amen. It's a big one, big third down play for the ball. And they're going to toss it to Henry and hope he can get guarded. No. The Razorbacks have stacked them up all day long, and they do it again. I told you they should have run inside. <laughs> well, they decided to go wide, and that's been a good play for them. But look at the Arkansas. Ten men on the line of scrimmage. Everybody moving along there. Watch 29, Kanoi Kennedy. He slides along in there. He's in on the tackle. 45, that's Jamel Harris. Those guys have had some tackles today. Leverton will punt the ball again. Hoping again to back Leverton the Raven backs up. For Tennessee, Morialli deep for Arkansas. Rossi Morialli looks up into that bright sky. And this one ricochets into the end zone. He didn't have the backspin Leverton that he did on his prior kick. And we'll look at some other scores. That one hasn't changed in several minutes. That's the huge one in the West Division. Just getting started. Ooh, oh, my goodness. That's a defensive struggle. <laughs> There's another defensive struggle. 87 points. Georgia Tech able to hold on against the Clemson Tigers. Well, seven minutes to go. It's crunch time now if you're an Arkansas fan. It's also crunch time if you're a Tennessee fan. Tennessee's got to get penetration. They've got to get pressure on Sterner. And they got to stop the Arkansas run, which Chikuma absolutely had nothing. Boy, when he ran into Sean Ellis, 93, I mean, it was just like stop, boom, down he goes. John Henderson and Sean Ellis in there. That tackle end combination, big tackle. Tennessee's front four, Overstreet, Walker, Henderson, and Ellis have been outstanding all season long. That's why they're, uh, that's why they are where they are. But Tennessee is just uh, right at their per game average in rushing yardage. Interesting, they brought Cobbs in now. Maybe you might give him a little bit more flash. What a great catch by Smith to hold on to that ball. He knew he was going to get hammered. All right, when you go across, look at look at Clint Sterner. That's the way to catch the football. You lead by example, and that's what Clint Sterner's telling him. Crossing pattern over the middle. You know you're going to get hurt. Stretch out, get down, bring the football down. And Clint Sterner was the first one to run downfield and tell Smith, congratulations, good catch. That's the way to go after it. Tennessee needs to stop now. They need to get penetration. Gets the ball out to the 38. The freshman Cobbs. Deion Grant chasing him. And Grant runs him out of bounds at the 45-yard line. This Cobbs has a chance to be special, Dave. Well, you talk about him being special and just being a freshman. Did you see him switch the ball that time? Took the ball with the right hand off Sterner right here. Takes the ball with the right hand. Now watch him switch right to left to get the ball to the outside. Right in here, he switches, gets that ball to the left hand to the out of bounds. He gets a good block downfield right there. His wide out gives him a good block downfield. That's what you want to do. Drive him off the football. Boo Williams got a good block. Bob's on the sideline. Here's the third string tailback. Jenkins. And Jenkins is across the 50 to the 47-yard line of Tennessee before Deion Grant is able to bring him down. Michael Jenkins gets his first carry of the day. Boy, this is a good run. Fearless. you got to be fearless in there. You know you're going to get hit. This is a great Tennessee team. You're going to get arms swiped at you, but you just got to keep on running through, keep your feet going, and fall forward. And I'll tell you this. We talked about the emotions of this game. This crowd is right on that frenzied spot. They're really getting in it. If Arkansas can drive here and kick a field goal, that crowd's going to really be in this game. Chris Chakuma. Bouncing off tacklers to the Tennessee 41. A gain of six. And Sean Ellis got hurt on that play on the back side of it. He's he got up, up. Yeah, got up limp and he's walking it off. There's Sean Ellis, number 93, coming off right there. Looks like he might just flip an angle right in there. 
turned an ankle. Oh, that right ankle. Yeah, he just turned that right ankle over. You see him grab it, but he got up and walked off. Boy, you want him in crunch time. In Tennessee, you want him in there. Hobbs is the tailback. Look out for the freshman. He skips arm Deion Grant and steps out of bounds at the 25-yard line. Arkansas is running the ball against Tennessee's vaunted defense. Well, we talked earlier about him sticking with the play. That's exactly what Cedric Cobb does. He sticks with the play. Designed to go inside now. Get out there, use that speed. Stiff arm in there, get us some yardage, picks it up. And surprisingly, Arkansas has run the football. Look at that. Over 100 yards, seven and a half yards per carry. Let's go to Greg Bowser. Ball number 93, Sean Ellis uh, twisted his ankle just a little bit, but he is going back in the ball game. And if I'm Tennessee, I would want him in there. You better believe it. Cobbs wrapped up, dropped down at the 25. Henderson, a sure tackler, sophomore from Nashville. Grabbed on and held on and wouldn't let Cobbs get free that time. Goes for two yards. I think John Henderson is one of those real stars. He, he has just stepped up his play, came in here, just a sophomore big guy, 6'7", 285, but he plays strong. And when he gets those arms on you, you don't break tackles when John Henderson wraps you up. Second down, Razorbacks inside of four minutes left, trailing by a field goal. Blitz from Tennessee. Oh, he's got a lot of time. Lucas, touchdown. Dobson with the extra point as the Razorbacks have gone on top by three. And it is now a four-point game, and Tennessee will need a touchdown to win this football game with 3.44 remaining. And the All-American, Anthony Lucas, on the receiving end from the all-time leading passer in Arkansas history, Clint Sterner. Well, you knew right away he had time to pass. Look at this, sit back there, offensive line giving a lot of time, and who does he go to? His go-to guy, Anthony Lucas, all day long across the middle. Now watch Sterner's time right here, little play fake, but look at this, stand back there, has time to pump fake, and then you see Lucas one-on-one, -on -one. Up high to go get the football. Great concentration. Good reaching, good position. But look at Kern. Clint Sterner knows it. Now, I know they've told us all day, all week long, that they've tried to avoid the emotion from last week. But I want you to look at that play. And look at Clint Sterner. Does that young man want this one or what? Three touchdown passes today for Sterner. He has played a marvelous game. The Houston Nuts team has... Uh, Played probably, I guess, Dave Rowe as well as oh. they could play. Yeah, they so can't far. play any better.